Okay, so first step, you take a zip tie. Now these are like the two foot long zip ties. It's mostly, it doesn't matter how long they are because you're going to cut them down to size, but it's how thick they are because these ones are the wider, stronger zip ties. So I take a um, cotton ball and I've cut this cotton ball in half and we're going to take it and put it on the end and wrap it around to protect these sharp edges so they don't dig into the ear. And then I wrap it around with this tape here and I've made it sticky. So I've wrapped it around and then I've twisted the tape around so it's sticky side out. So next you've got both ends wrapped with the cotton balls and the tape sticky side out. You take your duct tape and you put it a little bit up from the cotton ball and it's sticky side up and you're going to take the next piece of duct tape and lay it sticky side up again and overlap. So now I've got it wrapped. There's duct tape on the back, sticky side up both ways, and I'm going to cut the bottom here right up the sides on each side so that it fits down into the ear. We're kind of going to cut it to contour the ear so it's basically going to turn out looking like this. So next step I've got both of the little ear posting things are cut a little bit and the sticky side out is on the duct tape so now I've taken the ears and I've used um, cotton balls and alcohol and I've for the most part cleaned the most of the latex, the liquid latex or the Torbit cement from the inside of the ear as much as possible. There's still a little bit left, but there's some on the outside of the ear. It's still a little bit sticky in there, but that's okay. It's just the majority of it that I've cleaned up. And then we're going to stick those posts down in here, sticky side against the ear, but I'm going to put some glue on here first and then we're going to stick it down in there. Now I've glued the inside of the ear and somewhere down in there. He does not love this part, but it's just got to stay, get a little tacky. Um, this is part of the training process. I make him lay here for this. I don't allow him to flop his ear and go crazy. He's going to go to sleep now, but um, I just kind of hold it and let it air out a little bit and let it get a little tacky. And then we're going to stick the post down in the ear with the sticky side against the glue. Okay, so now we've got this down in the ear. We've got, it's just kind of big and huge and annoying at this point. So I've got it nice and tight up here and then we're going to cut this tape around it. We're going to be careful not obviously to get the ear, but I'm going to be cutting this tape around it so it forms to the ear and it's not so heavy and annoying to him. Okay, so now we've got, we're going to blur here. Okay, so now we've got, I've cut this to contour, there we go, I've cut this to contour the ear here, and I've kind of like rubbed it at the bottom here because that makes it not so itchy, but that way it stands up here, and he's got it, I've just cut the tape with some scissors along the side, I cut the remaining zip tie up here so it didn't stick out too much, and I've just pressed this nice and firm, but that's pretty stuck on there. And I'm going to do the same with the other side over here. And then I'll show you what it looks like when he's walking around. What is that? Good puppy. Yeah. Oh, that's a good puppy. Oh, that's a good puppy. That's a good puppy. That's a good puppy. That's a good puppy.